Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and I want to welcome each and every one of you straight back to my channel and straight back to another Eurovision 2022 reaction video. Now guys, things are hotting up and we are slowly but surely getting each and every country and their representatives for Eurovision 2022. Now guys, in today's video, judging by that title down below, and yeah, you're right, I'm going to be reacting to Ukraine and their entry for the 2022 competition, which is Alina Pash and her track, which translates in English to Shadows of Forgotten Ancestors. Sounds deep. Now, I am super excited to get stuck into this because if you've been an OG member of this channel, you will know that Ukraine actually won my very first series of Eurobattle, my country of the decade. So no pressure, Ukraine. Unfortunately, guys, this year I did not get a chance to keep up with Vidbeer 2022. So literally, I have no idea what to expect. I haven't heard snippets. I haven't heard any entrant. I don't even know how many acts were performing. I've been that bad. I apologize. So there's no time like the present. Let's do this. Enough chat. Let's react. Now, looking at 2021, guys, Alina has some big shoes to fill with her track for 2022. Solovey and Shum were just absolute delights, and Go A are so treasured among so many people in the Euro fandom. But let's see if Alina can do it. Let's do this. Let's go. Are they sound effects? <laughs> we're in a rainforest! And the vibe changes like that. Oh. Those bass tones go right through me. She has so much expression, not just facially, but vocally as well. It's so nice. Wow. I love the hook of this track. Ah, oh, English too. Oh, just when you think it can't get any bigger and better, it just keeps rising and rising. Still going. The drama is real. I am all about this. Wow, that is one long chorus. I didn't expect a monologue halfway through. This is everything. The diversity is real, guys. Oh, goosebumps. That passion. Wow, this is so different, guys. I love the message of this song and the meaning behind it, about where you come from. Being proud of your roots and representing. I love the vocal inflections halfway through the choruses as well. They are such long choruses, but it doesn't matter. They have me gripped. Oh, and that belt she is doing, it's like a battle cry, isn't it? And there's something so simplistic but so effective about this instrumentation. <laughs> Not being funny, she could literally supply the sound effect and the soundtrack to Jumanji and every film based in a rainforest. Wow, guys. That was a moment. I'm so glad I'm here to witness something like that. That was so strong and so powerful, but let's debrief. Guys, that song gave me shivers in places I didn't know I could get shivers. Alina Pash delivered. She delivered so well, she could put FedEx out of business. Wow. That song is everything, guys. I love the chorus. It's very, very long indeed, but it had me gripped and it was great. The dramatics, the theatrics. I love the passion, the raw emotion coming from her, especially in that rap slash monologue. I like how she mentioned Shakespeare and then she proceeds to give us a monologue. <laughs> you can tell both facially and vocally that she's really putting so much expression and so much heart and soul into that performance. She gave it her all. Also, it is so nice to hear, please correct me, I'm so sorry to say this, but like a fluty sound in the background, which I take it is a native instrument to Ukraine. You've got them ethnic elements, yet on the other side of the table, it kind of sounds like a Western ballad, but also mixed with a Balkan ballad, and I'm so here for it. The mixture of genres and the diversity in this track is everything. To me, this is a song about unity and being proud of who you are. And I love that there's Ukrainian and English within this track as well. Staging wise as well, it's a mood, it's a vibe. She definitely supplies. So far guys, it needs to be said, 
I think this is my favourite ballad of the competition so far. And that's taken into account every national final that I've seen for 2022 too. She should be so proud of herself. And I smell another top five for Ukraine 2022. Excellent job, epic. So guys, there we have it. That was just my slightly stunned and speechless opinion on Alina Pash and her track. What did you think about this song? Let me know all of your thoughts down below, guys. I can't wait to get stuck into your opinions. I'm sure you're gonna be very insightful and full of knowledge. But that is all from me today, guys, and all from this video. If you love Ukraine this year, please hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget that bell notification button. That way you can stay up to date with all of the videos I have coming out on this channel and you won't miss a trick. But that is all for me today, guys. And all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.